Hey, hi, how are you? Do 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 da 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 Woke up with The Story in Your Eyes by Moody Blues playing in my head. I'm not sure why, but I think it has something to do with um, working on my Spotify playlists. If you want to go on Spotify and check out my playlists and follow them, it's um, they're all done by Susan Morrow Johnson, M-O-R-R-O-W hyphen Johnson. So you can search me on, on Spotify and follow any playlists you like. I've got one called Weird Shit that's kind of fun. And I also have, uh, I have Halcyon Days, which is all the stuff from like my childhood and teen years and a lot of 70s, a little bit of 60s. So check those out if you like. Now I, um, I have a lot of stuff to say. Oh, by the way, if you don't know me, I am Mojo Medium, AKA Susan Morrow Johnson. And I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Um, you can find me on the web at mojomedium.com. Honest to goodness, i um, having a little trouble with Facebook right now. So, um, and yes, Facebook does read clips, believe it or not. So I am being real careful about how I handle stuff. Um, anyway, I hope to be able to continue regaling you here on Facebook and I uh, hope that you'll keep up. Uh, in the meantime, I have a new channel on YouTube. It is uh, in the description of this video or wherever it may happen to be on your screen. Uh, but when you look at the description of this video, you'll see a link to a YouTube channel called The Mojo Medium. Oh, surprise. And I just got the custom URL and I'm not sure if it's working yet or not. So try it and see. The other link in the description is just going to a landing page that has a menu of my services. That's it, pretty simple. Okay, um, so we're gonna open with a good news only card, and then we're gonna get on to a good mojo woo-woo topic, okay? So the good news only deck is uh, a deck that I designed, and like it sounds, good news only fortune telling cards are exactly that. Each card is, uh, is, is imbued with some sort of good news for you. And generally I say this reading is for you whenever you see it, for the next few days to a week. It could also have just happened today or yesterday, but probably not. Because these are fortune telling cards and that means future stuff. Okay, uh, I designed these cards after one too many people asked me, ooh, what bad thing is gonna happen? What do I need to prepare for? What should I be worried about? What should I be scared about? I'm like, dude, you know, yes, your mind, your brain is, biologically designed to be very, very wary of danger and on the lookout for danger. But if you are only listening to that fearful part of your mind, you're going to be a lot more unhappy than if you start looking for the good, look for good stuff, look for exciting stuff. I'm trying to see if my lights, how my lights are doing. Let me move those out a little bit. Um, so you see what I'm saying? If you look for good, guess what you find? If you look for bad, guess what you find? So these cards are fantastic. Hi, Cindy, Arlene, and Alice, welcome. Glad, glad to see y'all. Um, you can get these cards for yourself. They're on my website at mojomedium.com, right? Under Mojo Merch. And they are, um, you can use them yourself, even if you don't feel like you're psychic. You can, um, you can go, you know, like put them on the bedside table. You can put them next to your toothbrush or, you know, on your dashboard of your car or at your desk at work and cut the deck and draw a card every day and see how that guides your day, how that takes meaning in your day. See what you're finding because of it, because you're, you're creating expectation by listening to the cards. And so when you, when you think about what you're expecting, then you're going to be looking for that and looking for the good, right? Hey, it's like magic, which is why I have Make Magic with Mojo. Okay. Ah, love it. Expect miracles. Well, I'll tell you what, for me personally, it'd be a freaking miracle if Facebook will let me advertise and post links to my website again. Seriously. Uh, so expect miracles. Let's see what it means for you. Okay. This seems to pertain to um, physical pain or physical health in some way for you. It could be somebody else's health where you would get good news that seems miraculous. Wow, it could be your own health. Um, or it, along the same lines, like it could be that um, you, when you expect miracles about your health, 
that you've had a condition and now it's cured, or it could be relief from pain. It could be relief from a migraine, or it could be, like me, relief from um, a pinched nerve in my shoulder, relief from that pain. And it is slowly getting better, but I don't get to go to PT until next week. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's what you can expect miracles around. Something around your health and an improvement or a cure or, you know, a new medicine, a new doctor, a new friend who gives you, oh, you know what, you should try XYZ that I do, it works for me. So expect miracles regarding your health and especially about physical pain. And remember, it could be about somebody else's health as well. Yeah. Interesting. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, yeah. Usually when I get the Expect Miracles card, I like I like bigger miracles. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I won the lottery. <laughs> That's a miracle, right? Um, but the way to make miracles happen, the way, the starter to make miracles happen is to expect them. It really is. Um, you know, and this is not talking about the reading I just gave you. It's talking about in general as, as a, as a uh, way of thinking and being and doing and having. You know, when you're trying to manifest or create what you want in your life, if you expect that those things will be able to manifest, then you are a big part of the way there. Because if you automatically think, oh, that'll never happen. Oh, I'll never win the lottery. Oh, I'll never, you know, my, my knee will never be the same again. Um, you know, I'll never have a boyfriend. I'll never be able to have a job that I love. I'll never make more money. You know, all of those things, all those, I never can have it. And they're so absolute and so negative. And, and that's one of the things you have to work on in your mindset, right? You've got to have the mojo mindset, baby. All right, let's see what else we've got today for you. Um, I like to draw a card for a topic, not for a reading, but for a topic. By the way, if you like angel card readings and, uh, and RIP readings, well, of course, you can get a reading with me, of course. Um, and that's available, of course, on the website, mojomedium.com. And you can, you can get a reading, but you can also join the brand new Mojo My Life. Now, another program has been rolled into that. And so Mojo My Life is group coaching, but we're also gonna be doing some angel card readings and RIP readings in there. So if you're interested in that, that's a monthly subscription. Right now, the month, one month, Subscription is as low as it's ever going to be. It's an introductory rate of $33 a month. So let's see. Hey, Lisa, you actually made it. I'm glad. Um, so, and you can go back and watch the replay for, for the beginning. Um, so what we want you to do when you are thinking about uh, joining Mojo My Life, that is when you will want to, um, if you want not only angel card readings and RIP readings, they're actually kind of a small part of this, but it's two uh, video conferences a month with the group. And in one we'll do group coaching and in the other we'll do like special trainings, guided meditation, um, talking about affirmations, co-journaling where you get out your journal and I walk you through the journaling process so that it's useful and helpful to you. Um, we'll talk all about manifestation, all about law of attraction, all the really cool things that will help you find your mojo and love your life. It's about fulfilling your destiny, right? Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, the other day, you know, I'm doing this on my phone today, and the reason is that I did it on my phone the other day, and I can't remember why, but I did a video on my phone like this at the desk with the lights and the backdrop and stuff, and I thought, that look, turned out looking really nice. It looked really good. I feel like I'm a little bit washed out, but I've got the lights. Let's see here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can dim it. Yeah, that's good. I didn't know I could do that. Now I'm sitting here with, oops, with lights that are like, um, they're kind of like sunset. Yes. Which, you know, on the nanny, she said, next to candlelight, sunset is the most flattering. So that's where we are. We're at the sunset light and we're in the garden with the flowers and the lights behind us. Okay. Let's talk about helpful person. Okay. Somebody wants to help you think of who that might be and initiate contact. Well, it's interesting because that's what I'm talking about right now is how I can help you. And if you click on that link above, 
and then you look at the the it's a just a page with a menu basically if you click on mojo my life you'll see you'll come to a page with all the information about mojo my life and all of it was kind of like i was working on the page and it was kind of just all it kind of marketing you know it's like in your face and all of a sudden i just ran out of marketing words and so i went I'm going to make just a video and just appeal to you and let you know that I'm here to help. I'm here to help. That's what I'm here for. You know, about 95% of my clients since 2005, so it's been a really long time, about 95% of them say, I just want to help people. Everybody wants to help others. And that that's so important to humanity. And, you know, I think that that's built in too. I think that's really biological. Like the survival instinct, we also have the instinct to care for others. And um, yes, I said 95%, maybe 90% of my clients say, I just want to help people. And you know, they might be stuck in a dead end job or they're not making a lot of money or maybe they want to start a business or whatever. And, but the bottom line is they say, I, always, I just want to help people. So that is certainly a noble aspiration. And you might want to be the helpful person instead of looking for a health, helpful person. And I'm no different. I'm no different. I do want to help people. And the way to help people is by doing what you love to do. And so you take what you're good at and you do that thing that you love. Now, if you're good at something that you don't love doing, you don't have to do that. Trust me, you don't have to. But you have at least one or two, probably more, gifts or talents that you can use in service to others. And that's really the way it's done. That's how you fulfill your destiny. That's how you uh, find your mojo and love your life. And can you imagine that the way that the universe is designed, um, at least for human beings, is that we all have at least one, and usually two or more, gifts or talents that we enjoy doing, that we're better at than other people, than most other people, and that we can uh, do and use in service to others. Now, if everybody did this, I, you may have seen my little meme that says, selfless, selfish is the new selfless. It, when you use your gifts, you're happy and others are served. If everyone did it, there would be perfect balance. So think about that, I'm gonna say it again. Selfless, selfish is the new selfless. When you use your talents, you are happy and others are served. If we all did it, there would be perfect balance, right? Now, if you, let's say that you have uh, a real knack for sewing and you enjoy sewing. And so you start sewing for people and, and this is your livelihood. You're a seamstress or, or a tailor. You start sewing things, specialty pieces, certain designs. Uh, one of my friends actually does this. She actually is, she has a, a company called MJD, Modern Judaic Designs, and she sews and creates chuppahs and taliks and all kinds of, oh, and yarmulkes, you know, anything that uh, Jewish people wear to their services or use in weddings, things like that, she, she makes those, and she's really amazing at it. She loves it, she loves her faith, she's Jewish, and she loves being able to do this for people, and it is helping people. They want a beautiful chuppah for their wedding. They want a beautiful prayer shawl to wear in services or yarmulke or whatever. And she makes those things. And so this is a perfect example of using your gifts in service to others. If you have a knack for something and you enjoy doing it, then do it, whether you get paid for it or not. And, and that's a whole other story because we all have such problems with money. And again, about I'd say maybe 98, 99% of my clients have money issues. Uh, and the few that don't are really remarkable. At the few that, I think I know of three people who don't have like significant money issues and they just have plenty of money. They just do. And I'm like, man, I wish I could, you know, I don't know, carve out the, the money problem thing, the hangups, the deeper dookie, and just throw it out there and just be a money queen, right? Um, but the way to do that, to, the way to make money is to use your own gifts in service to others and get paid for it. So whether you're a doctor who has a lot of education, 
um, or a seamstress or a guitarist or an artist or a teacher or a dentist or a stockbroker or let's see what else is there a pilot whatever it is or, uh, or for that matter a flight attendant um, even if you're a customer service representative you can be helpful to others in what you do and that is what is so sweet that's what life is about you know if you if you feel like okay hold on I'm thinking a minute because you know I draw this topic out of a hat so uh, it's it I've got to make sure I'm putting it all in there for you hi Brenda I didn't see you earlier hi Andrea nice to see you um, okay so back to helpful person someone wants to help you think of who that might be and initiate contact well again we're back to you helping people instead of there being a helpful person for you I want to be that person certainly but you may not need the kind of help that I offer. Maybe you need a doctor or a teacher or a truck driver, you know. Um, but what you are, think about it from that point of view. What are you in terms of helping? In what way do you enjoy helping others? And if you don't know, or if you can't decide, or you're not sure, that's where Mojo My Life comes in. That's where I come in to be the helpful person to you. Okay, so what I was saying about on the on my web page, which you can see if you go to that link up above to uh, Linktree, the Mojo Medium, and then you click on Mojo My Life, you'll see there's this little video partway down the page where I go, I just ran out of marketing words. And here it is, bottom line, I just want to help you. I want to use my gifts to help you. And it really is when you use your talents in service to others, you are happy and others are served. If we all did it, there would be perfect balance. Isn't that cool? It's cool, huh? Okay, I have got to run. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, tete -a tete we've had today. And I'm going to see you soon. Oh, be sure to click the link to the new YouTube, YouTube channel. I just got the custom URL, and last time I checked, it actually wasn't working. But you can search for me on YouTube, The Mojo Medium, and you would find me. I put up a little training yesterday that's about uh, music for manifesting. And there's also other, there are some other videos on there you might enjoy, okay? Please subscribe, I'd love it if you'd share it. Hello, Rita. Hi again, Erlene. And I am going to shuffle off to Buffalo now, and I will see you soon. Get out there and make some magic. Mojo out.